book regarding our incredible fully automatic draw segmentation, tooth segmentation, airway segmentation, includes impact of teeth, now includes if there's already an implant in the CT scan, includes nerve identification, of course. And one of the questions that was raised regarding this, is there a way to get the maxilla segment into two halves to manipulate and simulate skeletal expansion? So I figured I would use this question to demonstrate some new functionality that we have in our new release, which if you check the Facebook group or if you email us plan at blueskybio.com, we could already share a beta testing version. And I'll demonstrate how we could do this functionality in the new version of Blue Sky Plan. So we have a little bit of a new look and feel, but after you use it once or twice, you'll appreciate the improvements that we have to it. I'm going to go into the Model Master module. We have our modules here. I'm going to click on Model Master. I'm going to click CT. So in this new version of Blue Sky Plan, we organize everything by the patient's name and the treatment. So here I have a whole bunch of dummy text for different uh, patients. I've patient fake fictitious fictitious patients that I've been playing around with it. But if you need to create a new one, create a new patient, require it is just first name and last name, or you could enter some sort of unique identifier. And once you click on it, then you want to use or create a treatment name. So the treatment name will be aligner planning, implant planning, or whatever you're doing. You could use what's being offered, or you could go ahead and click on edit and make any modifications. So I'm going to select the treatment, click next. I'm going to select the relevant uh, CT scan for this demonstration. And here we see there are different categories. We have mandatory data, which is required in order to proceed. And then we have additional data, which usually includes additional data types or different surfaces that you could go ahead and import as well. For this demonstration, I'm going to keep the full data set and just click on OK, and then just click Next. Here we have an option again of importing additional data sets for this video. I'm just going to go ahead and click on the X to close that out. Now, what we've imported here is the CT scan. And the first thing I'm going to do is demonstrate and run the completely automatic segmentation. And the reason I keep emphasizing the word completely is there are a lot of different solutions that have all sorts of ways of doing it. In Blue Sky Plan, you go over to the segmentation panel, or if it's not open, Go to the panel list and choose segmentation. Choose automatic draw segmentation. And here we have different checkboxes of what you want to segment. So maxilla, mandible, let's check airways as well. And then here it says don't merge teeth and jaw models, which means that every tooth and every jaw is going to be its own STL surface. If you just wanted the jaws and the teeth for the upper and the lower, each one to be its own single STL file, then uncheck this checkbox, but I'm gonna keep don't merge. And now it's a single click, start automatic segmentation. Okay, now this is gonna run. It is gonna take two, three, four minutes because it's going through the CT scan and turning every tooth, the jaws, the airways into separate surfaces. So I'm gonna pause this video to save everybody's time, depending on the CT scan, depending on your computer's resources. Again, but it runs completely automatically. So while it's running, you could go see a patient, get a cup of coffee, treatment plan, another case, whatever you're up to. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this. Two minutes on my computer. Let's take a look at the results. I'm going to maximize the 3D, switch to my surfaces panel. Here I have options. First, let's hide the CT scan. So what we're looking at here is the results of the segmentation. Everything as different objects, as exportable STL files. And currently all of this is running. There's no fee to be running this in the Blue Sky Plan software. We have different options here to hide all the teeth from a particular jaw. And we also have our full surface list here where we could go ahead and toggle on and off any of the objects. And we have duplicate functionality. So for this demonstration, I'm going to click on the top of the visible column to turn off all of the surfaces. And then I'll scroll down and I'll turn on the maxilla because that was the question that we had on Facebook. Okay, so I wanna make sure that the patient or the CT scan is facing forward, so I'm going to click. So I'm going to click right here and choose front. And now I'm going to switch over to model edit. And again, if we don't have the panel open, click right here is the panel drop down list or panels here, and select the relevant panel. So I could go here and choose model edit. 
And then I'm going to scroll down to a section that we've added, which is called Plane Cut. I'm going to click Show Plane, and I could zoom in, use the widget that I have on the screen, and just rotate the plane as I like. So if we want to make this completely vertical here, we've done that. Now, I don't want to delete the surface. I just want to split it into two parts. So I'm going to click Keep Both Parts and then cut by plane. Okay, this is the result that we have. If we go back to our surfaces list and go down to the end of the list, we have the plane cut remainder, which is right here, maxilla, right here. And if we want, we could just rename it. So maxilla left, and whoops, undo up here, a very useful tool. And click on it, left click, double click, and choose, whoops, surfaces. Maxilla, right, enter. Okay, and now we have our two parts. Now, I don't know exactly what's going to be done here, but some other useful functionality that might be helpful is switching to model manipulation. Make sure you have the right surface selected here, and then you can actually move models. Now I'm using the, key, the arrow keys on my keyboard and just tapping in the direction I want to move it. And again, I don't know exactly what's going to be done, but we have the full functionality to rotate, pivot, move by either using the widget on the screen or by using the keyboard arrows. I could switch to maxilla left, model manipulation, manual, and here use this as well. Okay, so I hope, I hope this is useful information. And again, you could look in the Facebook group for links to download the new software release or email us at planetupluskybio.com.